As we told you earlier in the show, the Floyd family has another big hurdle to cross Tuesday, the burial of their father, their brother, their friend. For many, burying a loved one brings at least some closure. In this case, it's hard to imagine the family will find that. Joining us now to talk about what the Floyds may face on multiple fronts, including psychologically, friend of the show, clinical psychologist, Dr. Jeff Gardier. Jeff, welcome back. Good to see you. Always a pleasure, Bill. So we've, we've had conversations similar to this in the past, somebody whose death becomes a national cause, an outcry. Uh, how do you separate the, uh, that and then actually in your head and heart be able to heal? Yeah, let's look at the latter, which is personally what they'll have to go through privately. Um, you know, certainly this is a way to say goodbye. This is a way to celebrate someone's life. But Bill, the way that he died so horrifically, um, I think that's going to be so difficult for them to actually work through what that emotional pain is for them, what that PTSD is for them. And yes, uh, they also have to live with sacrificing the martyrdom of this, this, this son, this brother, this friend uh, to the world uh, to get social change. But what does it mean for them personally? What is the cost? that they always have to deal with, and it's going to be a big one. So what do you say to them as they get through this? At what point does it, because look, things happen and all of a sudden you go a year out and the world moves on to other things, other crises happen, other things happen. And, and is there a healing process that involves what happens when they're no longer in the spotlight? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, what can we say to them that uh, your son didn't die in vain? This, you know, George Floyd did not die in vain. Uh, and he has opened up a social movement, not just in the United States with regard to human rights, civil rights, but also all over the planet. We're seeing that now. It is a small consolation for your pain, for your loss, but at least he didn't die in vain. And I hope that helps them with their emotional pain and getting through this. Okay, thanks, Doc. Always good to talk to you. Thanks, Bill.